Welcome to Basics Final Cut Pro. With this course, you'll learn the basics of how to apply transitions and text and just basically around the interface of Final Cut Pro. Here you see the browser. This is where actually you set up your projects as well as set up the different folders that you might want, like a folder for pictures, a folder for audio, a folder for video. As you can see, I'm using Final Cut Express which is the same as Final Cut Pro, except for transition and price, of which I will explain later. Now you also can see the effects right here, which we'll get into later on. You have the effects tab that shows you all the different types of effects and filters that you can apply as well. You can also go to the top menu bar where you can show, you know, where it shows the video transitions, the filters, the audio transitions, and different effects and so forth. Of course, for those of you who are not that familiar with Apple products, the Macs usually have their menu bar across the top. Whenever you click on an application, you will see the name of the application next to the Apple in the top corner of your screen. Whereas a PC, you have to go down to start and then pull up start and then you go and actually um, pull up an application and the actual menu bar shows up with the application inside of the application. It doesn't take over the top permanently. With a Mac, you always have a menu bar on the top, and then you have a dock on the bottom. On the dock, the bottom of this of my screen, I chose to hide the dock so that this way I can give you more space to see Final Cut Pro. Now, here you have your viewer. With your viewer, you actually choose the text that you might want to have, the different renderings and so forth that you might want to apply to, you, to your project, and you can be able to modify it. You know, you have the different tabs that you can be able to modify, like the filter, the motion. Um, right here, whenever you um, select the text, this tab turns into control. And then you have different things you can do to apply your text and so forth, of which I will definitely show you later on in this course. Here you have your canvas. The canvas shows your actual finished product. So you can view your product here with your canvas as well as you can apply um, different types of markers and so forth of that nature, of which I'll get into later as well. Now down here is the timeline. The timeline as you can see, you have the top for the video, the bottom for the audio. Now, I'll show you how you can set up how many video lines you would like just for overlays, as well as for the bottom with the audio. We will also go over system setup, little toolbar, as well as some keyboard strokes that will make your project even faster. Just like I stated before, Final Cut Express is exactly the same as Final Cut Pro, except for that it costs less and Final Cut Pro has a little bit more transitions, filters, and plugins. But you definitely can get the job done. Any type of project for television, weddings, documentaries, whatever you would like to get done, you can get it done with Final Cut Express, which is $100 less than Final Cut Pro. Now the new Final Cut Pro, Final Cut Pro 10, has a totally different interface of which you would have to learn all over again because it's very, very similar to iMovie of which I do teach both iMovie and Final Cut Pro 10, as well as a variety of other editing and animation software applications. If you're interested in any of my classes, whether it's on-site or online, please contact me at yippity.tv or just check out my website, yippity.tv.